Welcome back to the class on power semiconductor guys. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the numericals on induction motor drive. Let me take up the first numerical. A 2.8 kilowatt, 400 volt, 50 hertz, 4 volt, 1370 RPM. Delta connected spur case induction motor has the following parameters separate to the shatter. Shatter is equal to RS equal to 2 ohms. RR dash, mathematical rotor resistance equal to the scatter, that is 5 ohms. Xs equal to XR dash equal to 5 ohms. Magnetizing reactions XM equal to 80 ohms. The motor speed is controlled by scatter voltage control. When driving a fan load, it runs at a rated speed at a rated voltage. Calculate the motor terminal voltage, current, and torque at a 1200 RPM. So we are taking the equivalent circuit of conduction motor where the core loss resistance is neglected. What are the parameters are given here? All those parameters we inserted in the equivalent circuit of a induction motor. We know that the torque development induction motor T equal to 3 by omega S into V square R R dash by S divided by R S plus R R dash by S full square plus X S plus X R dash whole square. So the synchronous speed equal to N S equal to 120 F by P that is equal to 120 to 50 by number of poles are given as a four poles. So we are getting a 1500 RP. The slip of the induction motor is synchronous speed minus actual speed of the rotor by synchronous speed that is equal to 1500 minus 1370 by 1500. This 1370 is nothing but a full load speed of induction motor that is given in the column. So the slip is corresponding to the full load speed. So once you know the values, we are going to substitute all the values here. Now substitute all the values in the torque equation, we are getting the T equal to 3 by 50 pi. 50 pi is nothing but omega s in radians per second. You know the synchronous speed, ns. So how do you find the omega s ms means nothing but a synchronous speed in radians per second, 2 pi ns by See this value is 50, 100. You substitute the value, you are getting the 55. So that value I have to take here. Next, you have to substitute all the values. This is the phase voltage. In case of delta, the phase voltage is equal to the line voltage. So 400 phase into RR dash by S, RS plus RR dash by S plus XS plus XR dash full scale. Substitute all the values, you are getting the 48 point. 17 newton meter for a fan low the torque is directly proportional to the scale of the speed pl equal to k into 1 minus s whole scale now we are going to find out the load constant nothing but k k into 1 minus 0 0.0867 whole scale that is equal to the developer torque in a induction motor that is the, this one we take that value here then we are getting the value k equal to 57.7. Now, this is the expression for the load torque for any value of 3 that is equal to TL equal to 57.7 into 1 minus S whole scale. In first case, at 1200 RPM, to find out the what, how much voltage you have applied to the induction motor. So, at 1200 RPM, now you have to calculate the slip of the induction motor. Already we know the synchronous speed that is the 1500 RPM. 1500 minus 1400 divided by 1500, we get in the 0 0.2. At this value of sleep, the low torque equal to TL equal to in this expression, we substitute this value, we are getting the 36.9 Newton meter. Now the dollar put torque is equal to the low torque. We know the value of the low torque. This is equal to dollar put torque. So 3 by 50 pi V square into 5 by 0 0.2 divided by 2 plus 5 by 0 0.2 whole scale plus 10 scale. If you solve this one, we are getting the voltage equal to 253.2 volts. Now we are going to calculate the rotor current refer to the stator. So already we know the equivalent circuit of induction motor. This is the stator resistance. This is the stator leakage reactant. This is the rotor resistance refer to the stator. This is the total reactance referred to the scatter. 
here the magnetization reactance is there so this is rs this is xs this is rr dash by s this is xr dash this is xm here this current is nothing but a total current referred to the theta so to find this current this voltage divided by the impedance of this outer loop excluding the magnetization loop. so already we calculated the voltage 253.2 by rs plus rr dash by s plus some of these two values are getting the jcam so again if you keep in a similar form we are getting the 8.246 minus a 3.054 now if you want to find out the magnetization current this voltage divided by jcam that we are getting the minus j 3.165. We add these two values that gives the source current. So finally, we are getting the 10.328 at an angle minus 37 degrees. This is the phase current. Now we are going to find out the line current into root 3, the shatter winding is constant in delta. So we are getting the 17.89 angles. Now in second case, we are going to find out the motor speed and current and torque for a terminal voltage of 300 volts. For this induction motor, if we apply the 300 volts, then how much is the speed of a motor, how much current is taken by the motor, and how much is the torque developed in an induction motor. Again, we have taken the same equivalent circuit. At 300 volts, again here, we have taken the expression for the torque developed in an induction motor. Substitute all the values except the slip of the induction motor because we don't know the slip of the induction motor. This is equal to the load torque on a motor. That is equal to, this is load torque. This is equal to 57.7 into 1 minus S. Now, if you solve this equation, we are getting the, we are getting the polynomial, the fourth order. So, this is the polynomial we got it. If you solve this polynomial, now we are getting the Slip of the induction motor is equal to 0 0.146. And the torque produced by the motor, because we know that the low torque equal to the development torque in induction motor. If you find the low torque, that is equal to the torque development induction. So 57.7 into 1 minus the fifth value at a substitute here, we are getting the 41.94 newton meter. Now the speed of induction motor, n equal to ns into 1 minus s, substitute all the values, we are getting the 1279. Now we have to calculate the source current. Source current is equal to the magnetization current plus rotor current referred to the scatter. So to find the rotor current referred to the scatter, this voltage divided by the impedance of this outer load, excluding the magnetization there. So this is the quantity we are getting. Now to find the magnetization current, this voltage divided by this reactance, we are getting this quantity, this equation. Finally, we are getting the 9.75 at angle minus 37.3 degrees. This is the phase current. Again, you have to find out the line current. The line current equal to root 3 times the 9.75. This value of current, we are getting the 16.88 angle. Now we are going to see the second one. The star connected square case induction motor has a following rate and parameter 400 volts, 50 hertz, 4 volts, 1370 rpm. The scatter resistance is equal to 2 ohm. R R dash equal to nothing but a rotor resistance with respect to the scatter equal to 3 ohm. Synchronous reactance of a scatter and rotor reactance with respect to the scatter that is equal to 3.5 ohm. Motor is controlled by voltage source inverter at a constant V by S ratio. The inverter allows a frequency variation from 10 Hz to the 50 Hz. Calculate the value of the following. In the first bit, what you have to calculate is the speed for the frequency of 30 head and 80 percent of the full load. To solve this problem, we have taken the slip stock actors of induction motor from motoring to the braking at the different frequencies, resuming that all are parallel. At a 50 heads, drop in the speed from no load to the full load. Suppose you for a given induction motor is after the 50 Hz, I think about the rated frequency which is given in the number of here, 50 Hz. How much speed it is rotating? 13, 17, it is rotating. The synchronous speed minus this speed is nothing but a drop in speed. 
that is 130 rpm now we can calculate the synchronous speed n is equal to 120 fp where fp equal to 50 hertz number of forces four so we are getting the synchronous speed becomes a 1500 rpm this is the full load drop in a speed of induction motor 80% of the full load means 80% of this value drop in speed from no load to the 80% of the full load that is equal to 130 to 0.8 because it is given 80% is in the problem. So we are getting a 104 RPM. The synchronous speed at a 30 hertz frequency equal to NS equal to 120 FFP. If you use the formula, then you are getting the 900 RPM. Now the motor speed equal to synchronous speed minus drop in speed. If you use the motor speed 900 minus 104 equal to 796 RPM. The frequency for a speed of 1000 rpm and full load time. This is the second bit. The drop in the speed at a full load already we calculated this value with here 130 rpm. You can take the same value here 130. Now the synchronous speed of a motor equal to 130 plus 1000 rpm. This is the actual speed that gives the synchronous speed at this value. So once the synchronous speed is known, then you can calculate the frequency. And that's equal to 120 FFP. We know the, all the values except the frequency. Then you have to calculate the frequency. You are getting the 37.67 hertz. You have to calculate the torque for a frequency of 40 hertz and speed of 1100 RP. Now, at 40 hertz, the synchronous speed is equal to 120 FFP. You can substitute all the values 120 into 40 by 4, that is equal to 1400 RP. Drop in speed from no road to the this speed that is equal to 1200 minus 700 equal to 100 rp. Now, at this value of drop in a speed, how much is the torque drop in induction motor? Speed drop in a speed of induction motor is 130, it gives the full load. Now, if the drop in a speed of induction motor is 100, then how much is the drop in a torque? So, to calculate that one, the torque equal to 100 by 130 into Full load because at full load the drop in speed is 100. We want the at 100, so we are taking it in your matter. If you simplify this one, you are getting the 0.769 full load torque. Now we are going to calculate the full load torque. How much is the full load torque is developed in next motor? Then we can calculate the how much is the torque developed in next at a 40 hertz slip rate. So slip rate full load equal to 1500 minus 1370 divided by 1500, you are getting 0.087. On a torque developed induction motor at full load, that is equal to 3 by omega ms into v square by r r dash by s divided by r s plus r r dash by s whole square plus x s plus x r dash whole square. Here you have to remember that induction motor is connected with star. Whatever the voltage given in a pneumatic cell, that is always the line voltage. So, because of the induction motor connected with star, this voltage, the line voltage divided by root 3. And remaining all the values substitute, very direct values are there. All those values substitute here. Finally, you are getting the 25.37 Newton. Hence, the torque developed at a 40 head equal to 0. Point, from this expression, 0. 0.769 into 25.37. That is equal to you are getting the 19.51 Newton. So here we have discussed about the tuning numericals. If you have any doubt, you can ask me directly or you can ask in the comment box of my YouTube channel so that I am always available to ask.